Hello everyone, I am Noyanra and you are watching my channel Read Art Nerd. So today I will read with all of you my cute little book Naughty Goes to Toyland by any built on picture by Big. Here are some beautiful representation of Naughty's Toyland with a picture. Naughty Goes to Toyland by any built on and here are some content so I will read it first. Big Ear gets a surprise. Here you all can see Naughty with Big Ear in the marketplace. So let's come. Big Ear gets a surprise. Big Ear see Brownie was hurrying through the woods on his little red bicycle when he suddenly bumped into somebody. Down they went and the bicycle fell on top of Big Ear with a crash. Oh, he said and rubbed the big bump on his head. Oh said the person he had bumped into and sat up to look at Big Ear. Big Ears looked at him too. You are a rather peculiar looking person, said Big Ear staring. What are you? You are not a pixie or a brownie or a goblin, are you? No, said the person he had knocked over nodding his head. Are you a toy? Ox Big Ear. I have never seen one quite like you. No, I don't think so, said the strange person, nodding his head. Why do you nod your head when you say no? Ox Big Ear, still staring. Because I am a little nodding man, said the small fellow. My head's balance on my neck in a such way that I have to nod when I speak. Oh, what's that? Is somebody after me? No, it's only a field mouse is going by, said Big Ear. Getting up. Why are you so afraid of somebody coming after you? Because I have run away, said the nodding man. I belonged to old man Carver, who lives in the woods. He made me. Did he really? said Big Ear. How did he make you? Here you all can see. That's naughty. Compensation with Big Ear. And then, Naughty said, He made wooden feet, and then wooden legs, and then a round wooden body, and then wooden arm, and hands, and then a wooden neck, and then a round wooden head, said the little man. And did he stick them all together and make you? asked Big Ear. You have got funny eyes and funny hair too. What are they made of? The old man made holes in my wooden head and then pushed blue beads into the holes, said the nodding man. That's why I have got such bright blue eyes. He makes my hair out of beads of far from his cat's back. And the cat said he could. Well, why are you running away? asked Big Ear, getting on his bicycle. Because it's so lonely with old man Carver, said the little man. Besides, he's carving a lion now. And I don't like lions. I want to go and live somewhere where there are lots and lots of people. And then I really think you ought to live in toil and said Big Ear you are not brownie so you can't live in my town. You are not exactly a toy either but you are very low like one. You had better go to Toyland. I don't know the why way said the nodding man. Well I do said Big Ear stand on the step of my bicycle look put your foot there that's right and I will take you to catch the Toyland train. The nodding man did as he was told. He nearly fell off when Big Ear rode down the path and clutched at his pointed ear in fright. What's your name? shouted Big Ear as they went alone. Hey, let's go off my ear. Tell me your name. I have not got one, said the nodding man. What do you suppose my name ought to be Brownie? Noddy, I should think said Big Ear, near running over a fat beetle. Look out where you run, beetle, yes, 
I think your name is Noddy, little Noddy man. I think so too. Say Noddy happily. Yes, I am Noddy of course. Oh, what's that? That's the train whistling, said Bigger. Paddling at a tremendous piece, we shall just catch it. I will come with you if you like. They rode into the station at top speed just as the train was rumbling in. All about for toil and cried a voice. All about for toil and here are some pictures and sorry here uh, for train sound thank you for watching everyone